Hello, my name is Andrew. I'm the service manager at Solar Forever in Perth, and in this video, I'm going to go through a few things about optimizers. Here's a single phase house. So, in Perth, we're allowed a 5 kilowatt inverter, 6.6 .6 kilowatts of panels, and in this example, I'm going to use low voltage panels like the Jinko Neo N. The reason for that will occur be uh, apparent later on when we add more panels. So here we are, standard situation, 10 on the west, avoiding the air conditioning unit throwing shade, and 5 on the north. Um, so that would be 4.4 kilowatts of panels uh, facing west, 2.2 kilowatts of panels facing north, absolutely no need to use optimizers. Or they could have, instead of the panels on the north, they could have them on the east. And again, still no need for optimizers. But they want to have a battery, so it's a uh, SunGrow or an iStore or a Friendly's, or no, not Friendly's, bad example, um, but SunGrow, uh, an inverter that will allow you to put substantially more panels uh, onto uh, the inverter when you DC couple a battery. So in this case, um, two strings of 14 of these Jinko panels will give you 12.32 kilowatts. Maybe that's a little bit too much, and maybe two strings of 13 would be 11.4 you know, kilowatts, I think that is, uh, might be better. But essentially, anyway, you can you can do that with a low voltage panel. So let's have a look and see what that uh, uh, means. So first of all, with the battery uh, connected, we can add more panels and get the government subsidy for, for those panels. Uh, so adding these four more panels on the east facing string, absolutely no problem, don't need uh, optimizers, it gives us a total of what's that, uh, 5 plus 4, 9 panels facing east and we haven't touched the west roof at all at this stage. But now we want to max out that east roof string so we add five panels to the north roof. We've got 14 panels in total, but those five panels, because they're facing a different way to the uh, to the east facing roof, they do need to have optimizers. Some would say the whole of those panels on the east roof should be fully optimized. Um, my understanding is that's actually not the case and you can uh, partially optimize a string. So we'll move on. So the east roof is now full. It's got 14 panels <clears throat> and um, nine facing east and five optimized facing north. So let's take a look at the west roof now. Again, we've got to be wary of the shade from the air conditioner, and this is another use for where an optimizer can help. So if we add four more panels to that west roof, bearing in mind that we know that there's going to be shade on those four panels from the air conditioning unit, we fit optimizers to those panels only that are going to get shade. So in total now, we have two strings of 14 panels, so 12.32 kilowatts, and you need nine optimizers to actually achieve this. So that's one way that you can use optimizers. There are other ways to where they can benefit, but th this is a typical example of, of where you might use them. I hope that's helped. This is Andrew from Solar Forever. See you in the next video.